Hello everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer right now in sex. <laughs> it's 8.02 p.m. on June 5th. And right now it's time for another episode of Let's Play Animal Crossing City Folk for a year. I don't know why I did that in that weird uh, order, but I did. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> so shut up. Uh, but yeah guys, I am freaking so happy because of how awesome this day was because today was Nintendo's E3 conference and yes yes I know I bitched a lot about um, freaking E3 yesterday talking about Sony and Microsoft and but today today was awesome because it was Nintendo's turn at E3 showing oh it's raining uh, today was Nintendo's turn to show off their lineup of E3 stuff, and I was blown away. I know some people don't weren't as impressed as I was. <laughs> so what? I'm unprofessional. I don't care. Uh, but I loved it, and honestly, I think it's because a lot of the games they talked about, like. Here's why I think that I am. More, you gotta be kidding me. I missed it again. I I didn't. Oh, what is that? How does one even catch a bug that way, that size? How am I supposed to catch this thing? I'm scared. I don't want to scare it away. God, the the, the tension. Seriously. I'm pretty sure this thing can kill me because of how large it is. <sighs> ah, don't fly away. Don't fly away, I'm serious. <laughs> Do you think I can catch it? I don't know if I can catch it from here. Turn slowly. <sighs> okay. Oh god. There's just way too much tension. Should I do it? I feel like I'm just gonna hit the tree. Yes! Oh! Oak silk moth. Pretty or pretty hideous. Oh my god, did you see that, Filbert? Did you see that? Hey there, Dumpling. I just knew it was gonna rain today, bucko. Okay, I don't care. How well do you know your buddy, Filbert? Here's the question, and only question. Which of the following am I totally obsessed with right now? Freaking bugs, dude. It's all about the bugs. Bzz, that's wrong answer, bucko. It's like you don't even know. No, the correct answer is gardening. What a lame ass. Who gives a shit about gardening? I just caught a goddamn thing. I don't even know what those things are called. What was it called? That thing is huge. That's what she said. I caught an oak silk moth. An oak silk moth. Oak silk moth. Let us see what this thing is worth. Um, at Nokopedia. It is worth, oh, it's actually not that rare. It's rare, but I don't think, it's only worth 1200 bells. So I might as well be a good little boy and take it to the museum. Oh well. I'm happy I caught it though, that thing is sweet. But I'm pretty sure the Goliath thing is even more rare, so I'm kind of bummed I didn't get that. Actually, I might as well save this picture. Oh, it says Japanese oak silk moth. I don't know if, that's, if there's much of a difference there, but that's what it's calling it, so. Well, yeah, that's pretty good. You know, I think I can just end the episode now, but no, I'm not. I'm gonna talk about E3, because that's what I want to talk about. And I was gonna make an E3 video, but then I decided not to, because I have no, I was busy all day. But uh, the biggest, honestly, the two biggest things I'm excited about, game-wise, that they announced, <laughs> the first one's obvious, and the first one most of you probably already know, because I put up a video for it, is Scribble Not, or, no, ah, I didn't just say that, uh, it's Pikmin 3. I'm super, super, super excited for Pikmin 3, like, you guys have no idea how big of a Pikmin fan I am. Um, and I made a video, an update, Kind of an update video, I guess, is what I'd call it. Um, but I'm doing a Pikmin 3 uh, Let's Play when the game comes out. I'm definitely getting the Wii U when it comes out. And luckily, tar oh shit, it's a shark. Luckily, Target lets you pre-order game systems because that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pre-order it, get it, and then get Pikmin 3. I want to catch this shark. Oh yeah! 
Hammerhead shot. Oh man, this is a good day in Animal Crossing. That's funny though. It kind of goes to compete with. I mean, the other day it was so horrible when I kept scaring stuff away and losing presents. That I guess this makes up for it. But yeah, so um, I'm super excited about Pikmin 3. I'm gonna let's play that. But before I let's play Pikmin 3, I'm gonna do a let's play of Pikmin 2. And since it's about to get re-released in the Nintendo Classics or Nintendo Selects for $20, I'll probably just do the new motion controls version just to show you guys like what the differences are, and what the differences are and stuff like that. It's like a Japanese beetle. Yeah! I caught a rainbow stag. Somebody tell me already. Where's the rainbow? I don't, I don't know, kid. Um, oh, but then, okay, so I'm super excited about Pikmin 3, and I'm gonna let's play Pikmin 2, because I have to if I want to have all the Pikmin games done. And then, um, and yeah, I made a video of that where I put the trailer and I talked about wanting to let's play and stuff like that. So I'll put that video in the description below, um, or I'll annotate it somewhere. I don't know. Um, and then... What was I going to say? No, I don't remember. Oh, and the other game I'm super excited for that they announced is Scribblenauts Ultimate. Because I am a huge, huge, huge fan of Scribblenauts. I think Scribblenauts is one of the coolest games on the DS. Um, so I'm really excited that that's coming to the Wii U now. And actually there's going to be a Wii U version and a DS, or a 3DS version. So I'm really happy that they're doing... There's another one. They can't be that rare. I saw two in one freaking episode. But maybe they are. I don't know. Maybe I just have a lot of luck. And plus, there's a lot of trees in this town. So I guess, I'm assuming if you have a lot of trees, that would probably heighten your chances of finding tree But I, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. There's another rainbow stag. Those must be common. Uh, but yeah, Scribble Nuts looks really cool. I got to see... I, saw, I watched... What do you want? Don't tell me you're leaving. Oh, Dumpling, it looks like you're really... Um... Fork Bender magazine. Gotta have it, please. Come on, I'll totally. Oh, that's actually a good deal. It's only worth 1,200 bells. Okay, fine. Watch me hand this thing over to him. Her. Here's the money. We just did a freaking moth deal. Bug. De bug. Bug deal. I guess bug deal makes sense since it's like drug deal. Whatever. I already saw another one. It would've been cool if I would've caught the other one though. So that way I would've wouldn't have felt so bad. But I mean, you don't want to not sell those things to your neighbors because then they get mad at you and then they move and as I've said several times, I really don't want um, Pate. I don't want any of my original neighbors to move. And Pate is still one of those original neighbors. Uh, but yeah, so Scribble Nuts Ultimate looks really, really cool. I saw a hands-on demo and they're basically making it so you can really do anything. And I'm really excited for it because it's going to be open world. It's not going to be like just select a level and go f solve the puzzle. It's going to be open world adventure, which I think will be really, really good for the game and actually I think I think it's control because that's one thing the game has always had issues with is its control scheme I think now that it's actually gonna be on like a console with an actual like controller I think it's gonna help it a lot but what do I know but I am very excited about it because like I said I am a very large fan of scribble knots uh, other stuff Nintendo land looks pretty cool it's like a Nintendo theme park um, with a lot of cool mini games, like a Zelda mini game where there's one person with the Wii U pad shooting arrows at enemies, and then there's three other, four other people uh, with swords fighting enemies. So it's like a battle royale style game, which I actually think sounds really cool. Uh, Donkey Kong arcade style game. It's like a newer version of arcade. I'm not really sure too much about it, but that's what it looked like. And then there's a Animal Crossing game that I can't remember what it was. There's just a lot of, there's like five or six different games, um, so that should be interesting. Um, that I'm actually pretty excited for. Uh, what else? Mass Effect 3 is going to be on the Wii U. Uh, Batman Arkham City is going to be on the Wii U. Oh, uh, Ubisoft announced this new game called Zombie U. Uh, it's a really, really interesting uh, concept. Basically, it's a zombie apocalypse in London, and you have to... Um, basically, you only have one life, so if you get bitten, you die. But you never get a game over. You just become a different survivor, and then you have to go find your zombie self, like the previous body you had, and then um, get your stuff back from them. So that sounded really cool. And it's just like, it's an open, it's almost like, just like an arcade game where you just kind of pick it up and you just play, which I'm actually really excited for because I feel like there need to be, needs to be more games like that anyway. 
You have that eel. I like its animation. And eel, yes, quite. Eels are often thought of river dwellers, but they actually go out to the sea, lay their eggs, you won't. If you can look past their slimy nature, you might notice they have round, expressive little eyes. Ooh, but all that is I ever got to. Um, so, yeah, I mean, and there's a couple other things I mentioned. I mean, they showed off. I mean, since the 3DS conference is tomorrow, but they also showed, um, they did a quick little teaser to it. They showed some stuff of Paper Mario sticker story or something I think is what it's called and actually I'm kind of disappointed with it because it looks kind of like a card fighter like basically <laughs> I love the fish animations ah the hammerhead shock also I believe known simply as the hammerhead in certain circles the hammer shaped head is thought to give the shake the shock a great sense of its environment like a radar compared to other shocks this one wears a bit of daft expression that some people find charming <laughs> um, I don't remember what I was saying now Oh yeah, so they showed that, but I'm still excited. I mean, I'm just gonna be. Pay I'm happy about Paper Mario, no matter what they give me. Um, and then they showed some. Oh duh, they showed new Super Mario Brothers Wii. They showed new Super Mario Brothers Wii U, uh, which looks pretty interesting. You get a flying squirrel suit. Um, rainbow stacks have the honor of being called the world's most beautiful stack beetles. Even the insect's belly is in that rainbow design, making it. Oh my god. I can't read. Um. But yeah, so that game looks good, and then the new Super Mario Bros. 2 for the 3DS. They talked about that a little bit. And then, uh. They showed, like, the new Castlevania game, and they showed a clip of the new Epic Mickey game, Power of Illusions, which I'm very excited for. And a couple other things that I can't think of right now. But, I mean, I, I think they did a great job. I really did. I thought they did a fantastic job. I think they showed all the stuff I wanted to see. Yeah, sure, they showed, like, some of the fitness stuff, but as they said, they have the... They had their Wii Fitness Board was one of their best-selling peripherals ever. So you kind of have to talk about it a bit. And I know most people are like, well, no one, you know, the people who buy that don't watch E3. Well, investors watch E3. That's like the stock, like, the stock market makes a lot of its decisions based on what happens at E3. For example, last year when the Wii U was announced, but they didn't show much for the games, they didn't show much for the system itself, they didn't explain a lot, Nintendo's stock dropped. So for people to say that the E3 isn't important, that they shouldn't show certain things, yeah, I disagree with that. But, you know, my, but I mean, Microsoft went too far. They didn't show any video games, you know? So I really don't think that'll do well for their stocks, but I haven't really looked at the stock market much. I probably should. But I'm actually going to end the episode now, guys. Tomorrow is the 3DS conference. I'll definitely be watching that, and I hope you guys do too. Um, definitely check out my Pikmin 3 trailer video I put up, and uh, like this video, favorite this video, comment, this video, subscribe my channel, be happy to do you guys do show up. I'm Panda Gamer, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.